I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine and I'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it but it scared me I'm literally I'm literally shaking so this guy I am a alone with my son by myself a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot he's excuse me miss and I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do and before he I mean he was probably 30 feet from me when he said excuse me ma'am and I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said do not approach me and he like immediately started going in the other direction and I just kept saying it over and over and over I said do not approach me do not approach me and he of course like got like what the f did it like he started cussing and yelling like what what's your problem and i and i looked at him and he started he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car and he didn't come anywhere near me he crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like what's con continuing to cuss and say what's your problem and i said you do not approach women in a parking lot i just kept saying do not approach me you do not approach women in a parking lot like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot excuse me miss um your tampon shown do not approach me right miss if I wanted to do something to you, you think them words will matter? Like, shut the fuck up. If I, excuse me, miss, to return your wallet, and you do that to me, I'm going to Chick-fil-A on you. I, I f***ed at a funeral. <laughs> Whose funeral was it? <sighs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yo, the videos was going so good, bro. I knew I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> Come on. My ex boyfriend. What the f? <laughs> Cut. Hold on, bro. Time out. Bring that back, bro. Did I hear that right? I, I f at a funeral. <laughs> Whose funeral was it? My ex boyfriend. What the f? <laughs> Did you come? Of course. I'll be brave. I f***ed a guy and then I f***ed his dad because he was so f***ing annoying. So I f***ed his dad. I got a boner. I got a boner. Riding face. I like riding face. You want me to ride your face? I'll break your f***ing nose. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I f***ed him on my period. I didn't even notice that f*** felt better. It was a Latina. Gangster, ain't nah, bro. We ain't running no red lights out here, bro. What's wrong with you? He talking about it's a Latina. That don't make it no better, bro. Oh. You know how they get. Oh. He knows hey, how he they fucking get. Titi me pregunto. Oh God, like he follow. Yeah. I had sex with my new and I made my ex boyfriend lick my his off my. What did you say? I made my ex lick his off my. Huh? Off his. It's mine now, but it's his. I suck from the back, so hit me up. How does that go? How does that go? What are you talking about? I'm scared. I suck real good, right? So I pick up the and I lick him, and I lick the and I put my face in it, and then I gargle the in my throat, like that. And then I. I don't know if this video going to make the cut. Um, I don't want YouTube to delete my channel with all this. Um, this uh, <sighs> disgusting garbage. I want you to know that in the, these are going to be people's mothers. When a man says he wants a woman who is pure with a low body count, what do you say to that? That's bullshit. There's no way in hell that you can meet a girl that has a low body count. You don't be bullshitting. Yeah, yeah. The good. They yeah. Bullshit. Girls are grimy That's as much as guys. They be sneaky. Girls are sneaky <laughs> as bitches. Not because I've done it, but I got homegirls that they're 
fucking savage. If I was a man, I would not trust a bitch. Hey, look, let me tell y'all something, man. Hispanic women are, are beautiful women, but, like, they are dangerous. They are dangerous. I've never seen a dude, especially, like, a black man, I've never seen a black man go into a, a relationship with a Hispanic woman and come out the same. Like, niggas be having PTSD, son. So this is what you doing right now? So you cheating on me? This is the type of guy you mess with now? This is what you doing to me? So this is what you doing to me? This is what you doing to me, huh? This is what you doing to me? This is the type of guy you are. I'm a nobody. I got your nails done. I got those are my shoes. That's my pants. Give me my coat back. Give me my coat back. This is the type of person you are. Coat back. Gentlemen, gentlemen of this barbecue, if you catch your woman cheating, just, just let it go. As hard as it might be, just let it go. There's no need to bring a camera trying to expose her. Because all you're doing is you're exposing yourself in your most, one of your most vulnerable moments. You hurt. You hurt. Can I be honest with you, bro? What's up? You're the reason I have trust issues with you, bro. <laughs> I hope on your TikTok, bro. You're the reason I'll never have a girlfriend. The girls he's talking about are you guys. Not me. I'm, I'm good, good girls. Virgin girl. Mary. Yeah. Alright. This is my best friend from home. I'm not, I'm not a virgin. Like, I'm waiting for myself. Sadly. Really? Oh, Can I go? We'll let you go in a second, Pinocchio. <laughs> are you a liar? No, but like, do you honest? Hold up one second. I'm 100% Like, are you, what do you make? You think I'm like not that type? I'm kind of offended right now. No, I'm not yeah. Why do you believe it? It's an evil world we live in. Damn, why her friend put on blast like that? I mean, it's one thing she lying, but like, why her friend exposing her like that? You gotta watch your back. Friends bring you go, but they don't bring you back. My grandmother used to tell me that all the time. We have come to the end of the video. I want to thank everybody that has been faithfully watching my videos. Because of y'all, my channel has grown, I believe it says 5,000%. I just got a new job, and like, you know, I'm actually thinking of doing YouTube full time. And I just really want to thank you guys for it. Like, it, it came at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Doing the videos have really kept my mind off of losing my uncle. And, um, thank you. You know, I know it's a few of y'all that watch the videos that's probably not subscribed yet. So go ahead and subscribe, man. Like, if you binge watch the videos, just go ahead and subscribe. You know, join the family. But, yeah, I appreciate you.